Dippy the Diplodocus was one of the largest dinosaurs that roamed the Earth around 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. He was a herbivore, gorging himself on plants all day. He had peg-like teeth to strip the ferns off their leaves and gobble them down. Despite his enormous size, Dippy had to be very careful, as there would have been some fearsome predators on the prowl, like the sharp-toothed Allosaurus. Well, would you look at that? We've got ourselves a food chain. Here we can see that Dippy would gain all of his energy from plants, but he was also hunted by the Allosaurus. However, Dippy did not have all this food to himself. There was a vast array of other dinosaur species that would have coexisted with him. And the Allosaurus was certainly not the only predator he had to worry about. Let's have a closer look at all of the plants and animals that interacted with Dippy millions of years ago. This is much more complex than our simple food chain from earlier. We call this a food web. All we have to do is follow the lines between each species and this tells us who was eating who. Each species plays a very important role on the stability of their ecosystem. But what do I mean by this? Well, we know that dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago, so let's see what happens if we remove a species. First, let's take away the Stegosaurus. Because there are no more Stegosaurus to eat, the Allosaurus and the Ceratosaurus must now eat more of the Diplodocus and the Brachiosaurus to survive. But the ecosystem still remains stable. Now, what if we remove the Brachiosaurus too? The Diplodocus has become the only food source for the predators. As a result, the Diplodocus is hunted to extinction and the predators starve. The whole ecosystem collapses. Now I hear you asking. This food web is from millions and millions of years ago. That's almost as old as my hairstyle. Why is this important to us now? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just like our prehistoric food web, the ecosystems that exist today behave in the same way. We can imagine these ecosystems as being like a game of Jenga. The tower represents the entire ecosystem and each brick a different species. We can pull species out and the tower still stands. However, as more species are removed, the ecosystem becomes less and less stable until the whole ecosystem collapses. And just like that, the entire wildlife ecosystem has fallen into peril, much like what happened with the dinosaurs. The more we know about how dinosaurs interacted with each other all those years ago, we can gain a better understanding of why these animals went extinct. We can then use this knowledge to help us protect today's animals from extinction. And this is as important as it has ever been. Humans have disturbed many of the ecosystems and food webs that have remained stable for millions of years. And if we aren't careful, many of them will collapse, just like our game of Jenga. More than 26,500 species are threatened with extinction. This includes 40% of amphibians, 25% of mammals, 31% of sharks and rays, and 14% of birds. We must remember that we, humans, are dependent on the natural world that surrounds us. By damaging them, we are only damaging ourselves, as we are all connected.